This is my welding machine, uh, AHP Alpha Take 2000. I bought this for less than thousand bucks, and I only use it a couple of times, and it's been stuck for more than two years that I haven't used it. And when I tried to use it yesterday, it's not working. So let's see if driver board that they send me is gonna fix it. Let's turn it on. As you can see, the machine runs, but I don't have any voltage on my outlet. <clears throat> 2T stick, DC, let's say I'm supposed to get a reading on that. But as you can see, it's zero. Now let's check the AC. 2T stick AC. Uh, let's put uh, AC frequency to 120. Balance is 30%. And let's change it to AC. Nope, zero. Same thing, there's no reading. Now let's check, see what happens once we turn the frequency. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So that's the first test. Now let's open it up. Turn it off. Unplug. Now we are on the high frequency board test. I gotta put this in 2T stick and DC. And I gotta find X9, which is this one on the top. And I gotta put it on 200 uh, volt AC. I'm only reading 13 volts and it's supposed to be 150. Next step is these two. That's supposed to be 300 volts DC. I got a reading of 319 volts. So that one have power. And in this one is supposed to be 300 volts also. Yep, that's good. Now I'm going to have to locate, that's X1, this is X13. Uh, mm -hmm. I got to check this. And those two. This one is X10. I'm supposed to be get a reading of 10 volts on this one, so I gotta put it on 20 volts. Nothing. Point 0.61. On red and black, and now red and yellow, 0 0.08 volts. And that. No reading on this one. Got a reading on this, got a reading on this too. I also got a reading on the other side, but nothing on that one. So on to the next 
test which is the driver board this board right here this is the driver board test I'm supposed to put this on 2T stick and DC and I gotta check this uh, wire 1 and 2 which is these 8 wires I gotta check those in pairs and the reading on 1 and 2 is supposed to be between 4.5 and 5, uh, 5 volts so one that's one and two no reading now we gotta check another one put it on AC stick it's still no reading no put it on tape still no reading now on to the next one three and four you gotta put it on dc you are three and four no reading Put it on stick AC. No reading. Put it on peg. No reading. Stick DC to T. Zero, zero, 002 reading. Now let's put it on AC. Nothing. Zero. One to seven and eight. Put it on this. Zero. Still zero. Still zero. So there is no power going through those two. And that goes into the inverter. So based on that test, the tech told me that the problem on my machine is this board, which is the driver board. So I gotta replace that. And it's 50 bucks plus shipping, which is $16. So I spent 66 bucks for that board. Now I gotta turn it off and replace it. Now this is the old one and this is the new, new one. I'm just trying to compare it on the layout. On the new one, I got the X6. See that location? The old one is connected on uh, X5, but the new one have a new connection, X5 and X6. This is one, two, three, four. Yep. That's the only difference I've seen. And earlier, this one is neater. I don't know what's. Well, put it on and let's see what we got. Moment of truth. Ah, she's on. Now let's see if we have a. Uh, Voltage. 
on this thing. Fifty six point six volts. Yay! Let's see if it's gonna spark. Turn it off and bring it outside. 